Hi everyone, in this tutorial we'll be going over creating and managing actions. Actions are a super easy way to combine events for further analysis and tracking. To do so, we'll, we'll start by opening up the PostHog toolbar on our site. So here we are inside a PostHog project. To get started with actions, we're first going to launch the toolbar. So just go down here, click on launch toolbar here. Uh, and then we're just going to click the launch button once we've added an authorized URL. That's going to take us to a basic site I've created. It has a few pages here and we can see that we get the post dog icon. We can drag this around wherever we want it. And when we click on this, we'll get some options. The ones we care about right now are inspect and actions. So when we click on inspect, we can see all of the pages that we could potentially turn into actions. So these are all being auto captured by our JavaScript library, and we can use that to create an action. So what we're gonna wanna do first is we're gonna wanna go to the about page. On the about page, you'll see we have an I'm interested button here. We also added one to the benefits page and we're gonna to wanna to turn clicks on both of these buttons into an action. So we can keep track of the people who are using our site who are interested. This could be also any number of different types of inputs. Uh, auto capture captures A tags, inputs, text areas, and all sorts of different HTML elements automatically. And, and we can turn any of them into actions. We can also turn other types of custom events into actions, but for now, we're just gonna do these two. So to do this, we're gonna click on our post hog toolbar. We're gonna to click inspect. We're going to inspect the I'm interested button here and click create new action. We're gonna have this be an interested action. We're gonna name it that. Um, we're going to deselect the text here because we might change this in the future. Uh, we really just want to keep the selector. So we're going to deselect that. Um, and when that all looks good, we're going to move this over to the side here. We got to get our about page interested button. So we're going to deselect the inspect view. We're going to go to the about page. We're going to reselect the inspect view. And then we're going to add another element here. So we can on this page select another element. We'll select this one. And again, you'll see we have the action being created here. Uh, we can deselect the text again, and now we have the two selectors. So you see we have the two selectors here. We're just gonna click Create Action. And finally, we're gonna open this up in PostHog. Now back in PostHog, you'll see we have uh, a action created here. We're in the data management tab under actions. We'll see that we have two match groups. So this matches events that are either with the HTML ID selector of interested benefits or interested about. You can see the or here. We can add more options. We can filter each of these match groups. So for example, if we wanted to just make sure that that's on the benefits page, we can click page URL contains benefits and we can do just the I'm interested. We can add this back in from here. We can save all this um, and that will change our action. And then finally, we can see the events that actually match this action down below. And if we wanted to, we can enable this option um, and that will send any new actions to the webhook. For example, if we wanted to keep track of interested users for our sales team, we could enable our webhook and then send those new actions that say I'm interested into Slack. So that's a pretty simple tutorial on how to create actions. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments or join our Slack community. It's posthog.com slash Slack. Uh, we also have many more tutorials for you to check out at posthog.com slash tutorials. Thanks for watching.